share a lot and I've been kind of, I guess, um, hiding, <laughs> not hiding, but yeah, hiding in a way. Um, so I want to start off. I think today I'm just going to kind of ramble about some of the um, positive things, positive changes I'm making in my life, just like um, things I'm doing to uh, grow and just things I'm doing to try and be healthier.
is kind of like therapy for me um, and I'm yeah I'm, I'm grateful to them because it's um, they, they offer it as like pay what you feel which is amazing um, I'm like I haven't been able to like afford therapy for a while so I mean to me it's just been amazing and um, they have done a couple of like longer day events so they did one for winter solstice which um, so they they did like yoga and then they had this they had this pop up like a sauna um, it's literally like a pop up like tent it was like a tent as outside um, you can only fit like four people in it at once so there was this pop up sauna and um, like an ice bath thing literally like a bathtub but with super super cold water so you go in like the sauna and then you go in the ice bath thing and it was the first time I ever tried doing that it's supposed to be really good for you um, and they show you how to just like breathe through it so you get in control of your breath so that you're not like um, and yeah apparently it's really good for you so I think I managed to do it I was like scared but um, I came out and it you like you feel really good afterwards you feel quite buzzed almost like yeah tingly and a bit like like rosy cheeks you know um, but they they also just had like some cute little um, game of like articulate going on for anyone who didn't want to do that um, yeah and then they they had like like healthy lunch and um, they did this like storytelling thing so the woman who does the sound baths she also um, tells the stories I guess they are like ancient myths and it's like you feel like a kid again it's like someone telling a story and she does the music like throughout it as well so yeah there was a story and sound and then um, they also had this uh, like a bonfire outside so we got to kind of write down our like what we want to leave behind and what we want to invite in and throw it into the fire and uh, yeah it's just I love that kind of thing so much and yeah it's just been like reviving my soul <laughs> I mean, um, they also had this uh, day retreat thing the other day um, on, uh, yeah, recently and it was very cute they also, it was similar but they also had um, a manifestation workshop which I've always been so sceptical about manifestation I've always thought Oh, so stupid but the way the lady like explained it kind of made me open my mind to it um in a way I it's me from the future editing <laughs> I just wanted to add because I literally just said um the way it was explained opened my mind to it more but then I didn't explain what that was so Basically, I always thought manifesting was I was like laughed at that idea just because I thought people were saying like You can close your eyes and wish for something and then by magic it will come basically like Positive thinking is 
actually a tool, like a psychological tool to help you change your state that you're in and therefore help you be more open to seeing opportunities that are already around you and help you change your behavior which is then gonna lead you to actually reaching your goals because when we imagine like something's already happening or happened our mind is rewiring we're getting into a different physiological state even um and so again it's just gonna change our thoughts and our behavior so then we're actually gonna be able to bring those things that we want into our lives so it basically from us when i could see it from a psychological perspective i was like okay well that makes more sense doesn't it like then it's not magic then it's like more like almost a kind of therapy, like a, it's like, it's like if you do the experiment, like if I say to you, um, like, look around the room and like, just try and notice everything that's blue, try and notice everything that's blue. And then if you close your eyes and ask you, what in your room is red? And you're going to remember much more of the blue things because that's what you were focusing on and that's what you were looking for. But that happens with everything in life. Um, so manifesting, I understood this time, is more like if we if we choose to focus and bring into our mind like that vision and that feeling as if we've already um, got what we want, we are gonna see a lot more of the way to get there rather than if we think we have a story in our mind that says, oh, I could never do that, I can't, like, I'm not good enough, and the world is closed on this, you're, you're not gonna be in as good of a position to get there, you know? So, I just wanted to kind of, like, add that. She was explaining that Um, something in your life. Well, I don't know how to explain it really quick, so it's going to be a super long video. But it was like, in short, you first think of a goal that you want to achieve, you write down the goal, and then you um, make it into an intention that you say in the present. So say, um, okay, mine was that I want, like, one of my goals is that I want to be much more surrounded by a community and to have, like, close, deep friendships. So you write the intention in, like, the present tense. So I wrote down, I am surrounded by genuine community and close, deep friendships. And then you bring to mind, like, a scene, you Imagine a scene in your mind where that thing has already happened and you you play it in your mind and the main thing that you're supposed to do is try to um, get to the emotion, like, like the feeling of it, the feeling that you, as if you're feeling it in the actual present moment. Um, so I imagine that I was sitting in a kind of sharing circle. I didn't know 
the feeling you're supposed to then let it go just let it go because apparently if you like hold on to it too much you're then getting back into that feeling of like I don't have it uh, so you're just which is the opposite you're supposed to kind of convince your brain that you're already there if that makes sense and then let it go and then like repeat the whole thing later so anyway like I said honestly I've been so skeptical about this thing but since it was part of this whole day retreat I was like well I'll just join in and give it a go it's nothing to lose and then the weirdest thing <laughs> happened so after that we had this like art session which was so nice I love art I love I love that kind of thing and um, we basically we did a few exercises and then we we just drew kind of we let ourselves draw whatever came up you're supposed to kind of not think about it not plan it and it not focus on it being amazing art but just kind of like see what comes out and you know, we could kind of let those goals and those intentions from the previous session come out and bear in mind it was a different person running each of these workshops. <laughs> anyway, I ended up drawing like people in a circle. <laughs> I could show you the drawing. No, it's too big and I can't be bothered to explain but it was like people sitting around a fire and there was like these red strings kind of like connecting each of their hearts and then from their minds I drew like different color wavelengths of different types all interacting because to kind of represent how we're all different we all have different personalities but they come together and it's cool it's like a, a rainbow of different vibes <laughs> so anyways <laughs> and then I drew this like boundary around them, almost like water, like the ocean, because I wasn't thinking about it, it just, it just came up, but the water felt like the calmness, like, I just, I just, like, tried to represent the feeling of when you connect to people in a group, and almost like the actual air in the room, the energy changes, and it feels like it just feels full of life and it's what I crave that's what I love so anyways after we all drew our thing we went round and we each shared like kind of explained it anyways <laughs> turned out <laughs> the person running the workshop like um, invited me to this like uh, sisterhood circle thing <laughs> and they meet like once a month and it's like a closed group that I wouldn't have known about if not for my drawing and like the whole situation so I, so I was like what the hell because in the manifesting thing I had imagined myself in a circle and literally the next session, <laughs> the person running it invites me to a circle thing. Anyways, I sound like such a weirdo. <laughs> but this is me. Um, so, anywho, anywho. So that's all that stuff. That's kind of like healing thingies I've been doing. What else have I been doing? I've been learning to drive, so I've had about 14 hours of lessons so far now. I, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm so excited. I just, I just love it. It focuses on my brain. I just love the feeling of being in a flow. Last lesson, my teacher was like, okay, you're ready now, and then we can play music in the car. And he, um, he put on a song and I was like, I was like feeling like the hero of my movie. I was like, <laughs> so else my tummy rumbled. I had this like euphoric moment. I was like, 
socially anxious that I, it, it just wasn't even an option in my brain, you know what I mean? Like, and then other things in my life took over and I became isolated and that's a whole other story. But in short, I, I lost touch with that, with my childhood sense of play and the things I just naturally love and I'm drawn to. I just, I went through a period of, of years of just absolutely um, forgetting what I love or, or just ignoring my own desires or
ourselves and there's no pleasure in it. It's like this big mountain, this big chore, you know, like going to the shop and cooking and eating, but I've been, yeah, basically trying to, I've been rediscovering the joy and like the, the gratitude and in these things and just enjoy going to the shops and like <laughs> choosing different things and picking out vegetables and like um, try and enjoy cooking and um, learn how to make things. Um, at one point I tried out HelloFresh. I always see that advertised on like every YouTube channel, so I guess it caught in my brain. They haven't sponsored me, so <laughs> this is just me uh, talking about my experience, but for quite a while, for like a couple of months, I, I used HelloFresh because it helped me to just take the stress out of like planning meals and going to the shops. And so that helped me get used to a few things. It helped me realise how easy it is to cook potatoes in the oven, which I didn't realise. It sounds so stupid. I always used to only make like mashed potatoes because the oven, I just was like, I don't know how you do that with the oven and now in it. So, <laughs> oh, that's very embarrassing. Um, but then after a while, I stopped doing that, and I, and then I started just trying to choose my own things, and yeah, it's going well. I've also been learning a lot about gut health and um, prebiotic and probiotic foods, I'm trying to include more of those. Um, is apparently very important for everything in a way that I didn't realise and because I've taken a lot of antibiotics in my life um, that basically gets rid of not just bad bacteria but also good bacteria that we like really need so I've been learning about how to rebalance that and um all those good stuff back in your system. Um, so yeah, good stuff, good progress. Um, I really need to um, sleep because <laughs> I have a driving lesson in the morning, but uh, to summarize, <laughs> I've been taking care of me and basically being like my own mum. <laughs> uh, just kind of taking myself into this um, hug, this, this like <laughs> putting myself into activity. Situations that are gonna uh, give me my life energy back because I think a big part of why I took such a long time off from YouTube is because I pretty much just ran out of I ran out of like what's the word? I ran out of steam to, to give like I ran out of soul to give because I wasn't like I wasn't recharging my own cup, so I had nothing to then try and recharge yours with. And that's why now I feel like I'm able to try and come back to YouTube and come back to connect with you people. 
much 